Hi, I'm Ellen with Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District, also called MidPen. I'm here at El Corte de Madera Creek Open Space Preserve. MidPen respectfully acknowledges that El Corte de Madera Creek Open Space Preserve is part of the ancestral lands of the Olpen and Olhon in the Ramaytush speaking linguistic area. Today, the Ohlone people are comprised of diverse descendant individuals, communities, and represented tribal governments, including the Mowekma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. This preserve has the best sandstone formations. Right now, I'm in front of a 50-foot tall monolith. Ouch, Ellen, you wound me. Alex, what are you doing here? Sorry, everyone. This is Alex, my friend from California State Parks. And if you don't mind, I'm kind of trying to do a video about Tifoni over here. That's right. And everyone knows Castle Rock has the best Tifoni and sandstone formations around. Plus, we actually let you climb them. Uh, okay, I don't have time for this. Alex, would you like to join my video? Yes, please. Would you like to go first? I thought you would never ask. Well, I wasn't going to, but why don't you show everyone where you are? And here, you'll need this. Yes, I will. So like I said, I'm here at Castle Rock State Park, also in the ancestral lands of the Ohlone people and their modern day descendants. And here at Castle Rock, we think geology is so cool that we actually named the park after one of our sandstone formations. Oh, so would you say that your geology really rocks? Sure, yeah, it's great. As you can see, our rocks here are pretty Swiss cheesy, with lots of little holes and even caves in them, called Tifoni. I'll let Ellen explain how the Tifoni are formed in a minute, but they do give our sandstone bosses a lot of character. They're also great for climbing. Sandstone is softer than most rocks, which makes it vulnerable to weathering. That can create the cracks and crevices that make for great footholds and handholds. Plus, the softer nature of the rock allows for easier anchoring of new lines, though climbers must get written permission from state parks before doing so. Sandstone has two main ingredients. First is the sand itself. Now, 15 million years ago, before the Santa Cruz Mountains started forming, all of this land was underwater, the ocean floor. And so that's where the sand comes from. The second ingredient is called calcium bicarbonate. It's essentially the cement of the rock. It's what causes the sand and other minerals to form into the formations or bosses that you see before me today. If you think of a rock like a wall, then don't think of it as like a smooth wall. Think of it as an old timey brick wall where you've got the each individual chunks of brick held together by a cement or mortar. The sand is the bricks and the calcium bicarbonate is the cement or mortar. Hey, Alex, would you say that right now you're between a rock and a hard place? Oh, well, no, actually, I mean, the, the brick wall is just an effect I added in editing. So naturally, rock climbing is one of the most popular activities here in the park. Though, of course, it is still necessary to protect them. Like I said, being primarily sandstone, these rocks are a little more vulnerable than others. In fact, over at Mid Penn's open space preserves, they don't even allow climbing for that exact reason. That's true. And here at Castle Rock, we don't allow any climbing on wet rocks. And like I said before, we don't allow climbers to add new anchors without our permission. Still, for a lot of people, it's the main reason why they love the park. I'm not much of a climber myself, but sometimes I just like to hang out and watch. Hey, Alex, would you call that a rocking chair? Oh, no, it doesn't move. It's just regular. Okay, never mind. My turn. Oh, here. As Alex mentioned, one of the most iconic features of the sandstone bosses are the tifoni, the holes and caves that adorn their surface. Many know the honeycomb pattern of the tifoni, and the Santa Cruz Mountains has caves as much as 20 to 30 feet deep here. Whether the smallest hole or the deepest cave, it's all tifoni, and it's caused by the process of repeated cycle of weathering over millions of years. So imagine the person is a rock. 
The surface of sandstone, like people's skin, has tiny pores that allow water inside, most often occurring in the rainy winter and spring seasons. Then, later in the year, it gets hot and sunny and the water is pulled out of the rock by the heat. It evaporates. When the water comes to the surface, it brings something with it. For Alex, sweat comes to the surface and it's full of salt. In the rock's case, the salt actually stays in the rock, which builds up and eventually can expand to create more tophony holes and cracks. When the rock dries, the water pulls out the calcium bicarbonate, which is the cement of the sandstone, and brings that to the surface. The calcium bicarbonate leaves the surface more rough and more gray, just like Alex may be dry now, but he's still gross. Now, whereas Alex is dehydrated and just needs some more water and maybe a little sugar and salt, the rock erodes away, eventually over eons, forming pattern-like holes and cracks. And that's how Tifoni is formed. It's pretty neat that we can see Tifoni in Castle Rock State Park and Alcorta de Madera Creek Preserve because Tifoni is actually fairly uncommon. It depends on the rock type, the climate, and other conditions to form these Tifoni. Wow, Ellen, that was great. You know, I don't think I could have explained that any better myself. I'm sure. You know, Alex, I'm actually really glad you joined my video. I'm realizing that Midpen and state parks are the perfect partners, preserving and protecting an interconnected landscape of natural resources in the Santa Cruz Mountains. That's true. I mean, we're neighbors. Some of our trails even connect. We should be partnering together, working together to preserve these amazing natural resources. So I guess that means I can crash more of your videos in the future? No, Alex. That means we get to collaborate on the next one as partners and colleagues. Sweet. Count me in. Hey, before you go, do you want to rock out for a minute? Oh, um, isn't that what we've been doing? No, I mean, <sighs> just get your saxophone, man. Oh, yeah, right. Somewhere in the Santa Cruz Mountains, state parks of mid -Pen. There are some sweet sandstone bosses, most covered in lichen. Oh, way up on the skyline's great and weather open space or state, you should visit us.